Hey everyone, uh, just uploading a video to show how to use a, a reamer to enlarge uh, the holes in the cavity um, for larger uh, pots and for uh, tuners. So what I'm showing here is that um, I have a CTS pot that measures in at a quarter inch. These are like standard American specs. Be it like on a, a Gibson USA guitar. Uh, the guitar you see is an Epiphone, uh, Chinese-made, Asian import, whatever you want to call it. Um, and so I need to enlarge uh, the two holes, uh, the volume and the tone, with that wood reamer. And that's the best tool to use. Um, you could insert it into a drill, but I highly suggest you just use your hands and it's much more controlled and that uh, lever bar uh, provides some torque action. So you just drop it in and what I like to do is to start slowly uh, from the top and um, you don't want to like really push hard down you just want to give it just a tiny bit of pressure and the volume in the, in the tone hole here they don't need much um, widening. Some people use a drill uh, by hand and just kind of scrape away. Some people use a file, but I find the most accurate way to do it is to use one of these whole reamers. Um, once I've loosened up just some of the initial wood material, that's when I've inserted the, the pry bar, the small pry bar there, and um, you just want to go slow and check your measurements, and it does not take much. So uh, depending on the quality of the, the whole reamer, it, it may cut quite quickly, or if it's a cheaper, more dull version, I mean, it's still going to work. Um, it, you just have to, just a few more turns. And then, of course, just um, make sure everything fits. Pushing the, uh, the pots through from behind and ensure um, there's a snug, but not overly uh, snug uh, fit for the two knobs there. So, uh, you know, I, I've sped up the video and I've edited parts of this out, but um, it just gives you an idea how you would approach that, okay? Uh, the, the tuners, very s s similar uh, in, in nature, what you're doing, right? So you can check your measurements, know what you're coming from, uh, and knowing what you're going to. So um, the Epiphone have a very narrow post and the tuners that I have are uh, a locking style with 10 millimeter um, uh, shafts on them and of course y you need to put a 10 millimeter hole um, for them to fit and uh, just showing you how carefully I, I, I measure things I mean you don't need all these tools right literally you could just use uh, the reamer and dry fit things but you can see the difference uh, in the width of the posts. Um, yeah, what, what's interesting is that the ferrules uh, that came with these tuners fit perfectly. So I want to loosen up some of the material from the top because the, uh, the reamer's tapered. Um, but I do want to do most of the um, cutting from the rear. And uh, You'll, you'll see this in just a second. So what I'm doing here is just um, loosening some, some of the material from the, the top surface. I'm not going deep at all. Uh, just remember that the tool's tapered. So uh, in a sense, you want the hole to meet in the middle, but I don't need to take that much material from the top surface. Uh, now, of course, I'm speeding it up just to show you you know, just a lot of back and forth dry fitting it, to see the measurements and of course uh, making sure that you don't want to go too far. So just take your time with it and you can see how uh, there's a gap there. Um, obviously it's too tight so uh, back to the reamer, a little bit more pressure and going deeper.
Again, dry fitting. Back to the reamer. And just take your time. Once you have one done, you're going to mark the depth with tape. And then you know for the other five how deep you need to go. Uh, it's funny, I just realized that I was um, doing the opposite hole, I think. <laughs> That's fine. Either way, uh, you need to do it for all six, right? So I think at that point, I'm generally happy with how it's uh, seated. Um, snug, but not too snug. Now, there are some holes in the back from the old cheap tuners. Uh, usually I put kind of a, a colored wax in those holes and again just dry fitting things here at this point. Okay so once you have your depth um, you can grab some tape and you're just going to mark off the uh, appropriate depth on the reamer itself and now you know exactly how far you need to uh, drill down into the wood. Okay, so what you can see on the left-hand side, uh, the three have been done. The right-hand side have yet to be touched. And, of course, just speeding things up, uh, showing that I've completed all six and dry fitting, like the look of it, and that's the finished product from the top. So easy job. Just take your time, and you will have no issues. Now, if you have any questions, uh, contact me through uh, the site listed below, and I wish you all the best. Thank you.